This is the Meerkat by Yo-Yo Factory. The Meerkat is the current signature yo-yo of the Mexican national champion and two times women's world champion Betty Galagos. Immediately after buying this yo-yo, I could really get a feel for what they had in mind when putting this yo-yo together. A light and agile powerhouse that is nimble enough to complement her quick and technical style. When first throwing the yo-yo, it felt lighter on the string than I originally expected. Due to its bimetal design where the weight is located on the inside of the outer rim, the yo-yo wants to spin as fast as possible and stay balanced while not losing any mobility. I really enjoyed throwing combos that were around 30 seconds and have it bind with still plenty of momentum left. As the yo-yo spins through the trick, it feels like it shouldn't be spinning as fast or as balanced as it is. Even though it weighs over 65 grams, it feels light and agile and would be perfect for someone looking for these attributes in a bimetal yo-yo. I would just like to mention that I did notice a steep decline in power once it started to die, but if you keep that in mind, it won't affect your experience. This yo-yo was completely unique to what I've tried so far, and if you haven't tried it already, I recommend picking one up and checking it out for yourself. And now, on to the after yo. Hello everybody and welcome to the after yo where we talk a little bit more about the yo-yo that we just saw a one minute review of. So today's review we talked a little bit about the Meerkat by Yo-Yo Factory. This is Betty Galagos' signature yo-yo. Uh, I do have it in the black colorway which is a little bit off of the pink that you'd usually see her using but it's the same yo-yo and I just want to say that I really did enjoy this yo-yo. So the first thing I did want to talk about is the design of it. I really like this more open concept V-ish with a bunch of steps um, design with also the bimetal rings that are on the inside of the rim instead of the outside. I really like them on the inside as I think it does focus the weight more towards the center so that you feel it in the spin. The spin is going to be a lot longer but it's still going to feel really light on the strings which is really unique to this yo-yo. After the first time using it, I definitely did notice that it felt a lot lighter um, than I expected it to feel on the on the strings. But with it being that light, it also carried its weight due to the bimetal design uh, with it being on the interior of the rim. I think the weight carries itself through the tricks, um, but it also makes it feel light and airy. So you can go really fast, but it also carries its weight through the tricks. Another thing that I did mention in the review is that I did notice a decline in power uh, as the yo-yo continued on with his tricks and that's around like the high end of or, or the longer end of a of a combo so at the end of it um, because it's weight and it just feels so light and it's really quiet I don't know if you heard it in the review it's also really quiet it's pretty hard to tell when it's dying and when it dies it dies quick uh, which is something you just need to keep in mind when using it I think it's not a problem at all once you get used to the the spin time of it it's just like any other yo-yo you just need to know how long it's going to spin for so that you can kind of plan out your combo it just might be the brake pads that are on it it might just be the bearing the combination of the two I'm not too sure but I just just noticed once it does start to tilt and go towards that braking zone uh, it just it dies off quicker than usual and that's just something to keep in mind if you keep it centered it's perfectly fine um, also if you if your combo is less than 30 seconds completely fine it's just one of those things that I just noticed with this one. I'm not sure if it's the one that I have or it's just that's with all of them. But I just it's just something I noticed. It's really not a problem at all. It's just something that I sometimes it doesn't happen, but it does have a steeper drop off. Another thing I did mention in the review is that it spins a lot faster than it sounds. I think I just talked about it as well, but it does it spins a lot faster than it sounds. So when you are spinning it around the 30 second mark, I thought it was about to die because it's so quiet and light on the string. But it's actually, when I returned it, it just gave me that stinger right on the hand and it's it was still, it could have kept going. So it's just one of those things that you just need to get used to the yo-yo. Um, it works incredibly well. I really did enjoy using it. It feels great on the string. It feels great throughout combos. And it was just a pleasure to use. And I think that you will also enjoy it. If you haven't had a chance to get it, it's under 75, or it is $75 brand new. You can find it under $75 used if you just keep an eye on those yo-yo buy and sell pages. Other than that, I really think you should check it out. It's really fun yo-yo. If you want to see some cool pictures I took of it, you can head over to my Instagram page, Just Yo-Yo Reviews. Uh, make sure you follow Betty as well. She's on Instagram. Make sure you follow Yo-Yo Factory, all those people. And uh, I will see you in the next review. Bye.